everyone, and welcome to our Ritchie Night celebration. I hope that the prayer service was fulfilling for you, and now we will begin our awards ceremony. Fordham Preparatory School is committed to being a heterogeneous and inclusive community. We believe students are better educated and prepared to succeed when the school community, students, family, faculty, administration, and staff is diverse and inclusive. Now, are we perfect in that sense? No, but we're mo moving towards a more perfect union, very much like our country is. Diversity benefits the entire community by providing a wide range of perspectives and experiences. To fulfill this mission is to work towards the magis, the more. That is at the heart of Jesuit education. Challenging each member of the Fordham Prep community to discern how they can work for the best of their ability, to the best of their ability, and constantly reflect on ways to improve. Now, Ricci Night, and you might think it's an oddly named night, but it isn't. It's named after famous Jesuit Matteo Ricci. It is a celebration of the tapestry of Fordham Prep that shows the wonderfulness and diverseness of our community. Ricci himself immersed himself in a display of profound respect for diversity of cultures, promoted mutual understanding, and was a master of building relationships between cultures. It is in this spirit we present Ricci Night. It is a celebration of the multitude of cultures here at Fordham Prep through a diverse array of foods, music, and dancing. Now it's obvious in 2021 that we're not gonna be able to get out there and dance because we're dealing with the pandemic. This means that gathering in the traditional sense at this time, it's just not gonna be possible. We must reimagine how to celebrate together as a community. So while there will be no crowds of people eating and dancing and cutting up on the commons floor as the DJ plays some of our favorite songs, we are still inspired to celebrate our efforts of diversity here at the prep. Each year, we present the Wanda Pinheiro Diversity Award to a member of the community who dedicates time and effort to advancing the mission of diversity in the Fordham Prep community. The award is named after teacher and diversity director Wanda Pinheiro, who was the first woman inducted into the Fordham Prep Hall of Fame. Wanda was an incredible teacher in the modern language department and a force for diversity in the prep community. This night is a part of a tradition she incorporated to bring the community together in fellowship and celebration, and we continue that tradition today. Tonight's recipient of the Wanda Pinheiro Award is a perfect example of a person who lives diversity in everything she says and everything she does. Carol Isabel is an integral part of our Fordham Prep Guidance Department and a longtime member of the Diversity Committee. Carol has dedicated herself to helping all families in the prep community as they engage in their efforts to go to college. But that's not the only role she plays. As a member of the diversity committee, all you have to do is say what is needed and Carol is the first person to step in and fill that need. Although I was named the director of diversity recently this year, it is only because of people like Carol that I can experience success. So it is with my honor and pleasure that I give the Wanda Pinheiro Diversity Award to Carol Isabel. Hey Carol, on behalf of College Counseling, congratulations on this award. We couldn't be more proud of you. Your energy, your spirit, and enthusiasm are just a few qualities of character that make you a light in our world. Thank you for being a reliable and dedicated resource to countless families 
and to our department and the broader school community. Your dedication, warmth, and commitment to excellence make you a valued member of our team, and we are fortunate to have you as the hub of our network, as a friend and a colleague. Congratulations. So Carol and I have worked together for over 15 years in the counseling department. And the phrase that comes to mind when I think of Carol is a servant's heart. And that's because you can see how much joy Carol experiences when she helps people. When I say people, I mean everyone. It is students and parents, it's faculty, staff, and administrators. In particular though, Carol's work with our Spanish-speaking families has been stellar over the years. It is everything from helping these families to navigate the challenges of standardized testing, but it's also stopping in the lobby when she's walking by and she sees a parent who's lost at an admissions event. It's also walking parents around the building on Meet the Teacher Night so that she can translate for parents. And when it comes to diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives, Carol has been a staunch advocate and a leader Although Carol may be soft-spoken, Carol is fierce. Carol Isabel is someone who knows who she is and what she stands for, and she is unafraid to stand up for what is right and just. Carol, congratulations on your very well-deserved award, and know that for me, it has been an honor and a pleasure to work with you. I want to begin by saying how grateful I am for this honor. A special thank you to Randy, Wanda Pinheiro, administration, and the guidance team for always encouraging and believing in me. Now I would like to share a little bit of my background. I am the daughter of immigrant parents who migrated to the United States from the Dominican Republic in the mid-1960s. My father was a professional boxer in his country. My mother was a student at the time. A few years later, they married and their journey began. They migrated to the United States hoping that they would continue their careers. Once in the States, they quickly realized that it would not be easy to chase their dreams and have a family all at the same time. They were in a foreign country with lack of resources and could not speak the language, not to mention the culture shock and the emotional transition they endured. It was tough for them. So growing up, I knew that receiving an education was important to them, and I made sure that I did. I also knew from an early age that my purpose in life was to help others. Working at the prep has allowed me to do exactly that. I am humbled by this opportunity and will continue to offer my contributions in encouraging diversity, equity, and inclusion for all students at Fordham Prep. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carol, for sharing those kind words, and I can't think of anyone more deserving than you. Well, I'd like to say thank you to all of you who have tuned in this evening to watch this awards ceremony. And once again, I look forward to us coming together as a community and celebrating, because anytime we're together, we're doing the work of Christ. So thank you and have a good night.